with another video and today's video as you guys can see by the title is going to be strictly on how to pass or if your AMP classes today's video is going to be all about anatomy and physiology one and two so if you're interested in figuring out how to do that stay tuned all right you guys so this video is just going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to pass your anatomy and physiology courses um, for anyone who is new into these classes as prerequisites for nursing or actually taking it in their nursing course like how I had to do anatomy and physiology is quite a difficult course I would say personally it is something that requires a lot of studying so you have to put time aside for that and you just have to really make sure that you go over that is posted for you to review um, I know that's something that I struggle with something that I didn't personally do at first like in the first two weeks i want to say i was only reading from the book and i wasn't going over the lectures that my instructors had posted for me and those are very 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 important they usually have information in there that is not going to be highlighted or outlined in your textbook that will give you a better understanding of what to look for on your quizzes another thing that I want to point out is that time management is a very big part of it as well. If you do not time manage your everyday schedule correctly, you're going to run into problems as far as remembering things when it comes to your quizzes also. Um, all of my quizzes are taken in the classroom. I don't know if anyone else's particular nursing program is like this. so. You <laughs> if it's not in the classroom, it is taken on either proctor or honor lock which those two you know record you while you're taking your test so planning out time to go over your resources and planning out time to go over your book and your notes is very important to help you pass your test another thing that i found helpful was using flashcards i am one of those people who like to write things down that's how i remember them i also like to make sure that when i go over my flashcards i read them and say them out loud that helps me remember them um, i know there's a couple people in my class who are the same way so that's another good really really good way of remembering the stuff that you need to remember for your tests um, another thing that i found helpful as well was making sure that I got a good night's sleep. Um, I would always study really, really hard the day before the test and I wasn't giving my body time to recuperate for the next day. And that was not really helping me per se. My memory wasn't doing the best that it could do because I wasn't getting enough sleep. So that is one thing that I would definitely put on the top of my list is that if you were in nursing school, we all know that nursing school is very, very hard. So. Just make sure that you find time to just relax, decompress. Um, I have a schedule where I have certain things that I do every day throughout the week. And on Sunday, that's my relax day. I don't look at any homework. I don't look at grades. I don't even pick up a textbook. I just focus on trying to decompress and make sure that I give myself time to just step away from nursing school and get back into who I am as a person rather that be going to get my nails done or going on a walk or taking a drive somewhere anything anything that you guys like to do make sure that you do that so you have time to recuperate and give your brain some time to rest and give your body time to rest as well because like I said you need that in nursing school the last thing I want to mention um, is that you have to have some type of study plan rather that be like monday and wednesday i study for x amount of time and then thursday and friday i study for x amount of time or you can even have a study group study groups are really good too i was in a study group um, in my last classes i am not in a study group anymore so 
study groups are always good but pick and choose who you study with because you can get off topic very quickly and i'm one of those people who get off topic very easily so study groups for classes like a and p were not the best idea for me so if you're anything like me studying on your own and having silence is another good way of doing it but if you like to have study groups and get other people's point of views on how they remember things that might be helpful then a study group is a good idea so now i'm going to show you guys my scheduling how i write it down in my notebook so that way you guys know how it looks on my day to day and maybe it'll help you guys plan out some of your stuff as well all right you guys so here is my planner i got this planner from recmed if you guys are interested it is a very good planner i do recommend it um, so the inside of the planner on the first two pages looks like this and then of course when you get into the actual planner portion you can write yourself clinical notes you can write yourself priorities and you know things that you need to do assignments and I like to stick to just writing them out during the week so here you can see the week that I did write out this side right here is from the first week of this semester. Um, I have it labeled from the day that it started and then it goes over onto this side. So that way you guys can have a look at that there. Um, another thing that I like to do to make sure that I fully understand my day to day is to write it out like this. This is going to give me a better understanding of what I need to do on a regular day to day basis. So as you can see, I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday all planned out. And then of course I have the classes written in there as well. So if I have a quiz, I have a quiz on that day. I have the discussions written on the days I need to do the discussions. And that's just how I time manage everything. And then of course on Friday and Saturday and Sunday, you can see on Friday, I have a class there. And then on Saturday, it's prepared for the next week. And then on Sunday, it's just simply relax. So like I told you guys, having a good planner, having a set schedule is a really good way to go. Um, especially when you're in nursing school because you just, you have to make time to get everything done. Otherwise, you'll just get overwhelmed. But I do want to show you guys something really cool about this planner that I got. So in the back of it, it gives you all types of tips, things that you can remember if you just having a hard time remembering it or if you're just having like a blonde moment because we all have those days in nursing school it gives you a little cheat sheet per se in the back of the book and everything in here will help you out in the long run it goes over everything I mean like you guys can see there those are lab values it goes over medicines it goes over the heart survival signs everything about the organs I mean I recommend this planner for anybody who's going into nursing school I mean look at this it's just completely helpful there's no loss in getting this planner honestly that's just my opinion so if you're looking for a really good planner I recommend this one like I said this planner is from Redneck and if you guys want me to link it down below I can or you can just shoot me a comment at the bottom and I will post the link for you where I got it from no big deal you can also find this on amazon as well they are linked to amazon it will take you right to it you can buy it from there and they will ship it to you so that is pretty much it for today's video you guys it is just strictly over how to pass amp if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave them down below i will respond to you guys as quickly as i can and i wish everybody the best of luck in nursing school Mwah! Mm -hmm.